Hi. Long time no see. Um, if you're afraid of cows, I don't recommend watching this video because that's what I do. And yeah, I'm gonna have cows in the video. So if you're afraid of them, don't watch. Okay, see you at the barn. <laughs> some vaccinations to do today um you can see the day what's the day i think today is the eighth i think i don't know so i have to do these cows these cows these cows and that's it three of them eight sixty four fifty four basically what i do is i write down the numbers and then i go out to the barn and i find them and give them their shot but that's not till later i'm just getting my stock ready you see there's our milk truck driver and the milk truck coming to pick it up. They pick it up every single day. And that's Jimmy on the wall there. It's my list of fresh cows and I'm going to be taking some out because 45 is just far too many. So they're only supposed to be in there for 20 days, but these were moved. I don't know why. So I'm going to take out some of these older ones by circling them and I'm going to go in the back and take them out. Gotta gear up, it's like 20 degrees outside. And I probably should explain for the people that are new or that don't know who I am. Um, I'm Evelyn, Evelyn, E-V-E-L-Y-N. And I am the oldest sister. So there's obviously Claudia and then the youngest, Jojo. And I work with the cows, I went to school for cows. Cow expert, I guess you could call me. I'm gonna try to come back and show you guys the cow side of our farm because it's pretty big, we milk 500 of them. So, I mean, that's big for me, but in our area, that's actually considered small. This is our vet room. Pretty organized, I'd say. And I just got this new clipboard the other day. So I'm gonna throw my list on there and these are the cows the group i work with the most the fresh cows that means i just had a baby so i just temp check them every day um keto check them and give them anything they need to make sure they're healthy because giving birth is not an easy task this is the back of our parlor that's the holding area up there there's my babies up there, ready to get milked. These guys are waiting to get milked, and what are you guys doing in there? I don't even know what's going on right now. Just figured out why everything is chaotic, and it's because I have tremors here this morning. And normally those are extremely chaotic mornings, but he sets up his own table, and then he does our cows for us. We don't do them ourselves. We just pay him to do Look how clean it is our ice sculpture. <laughs> Temp checks, looking for, not far enough, 101 to 102.5. If it's over one of the three, she's running a fever. I'm gonna check all of them. She does this all the time. Okay, this one's running a fever, 103. So I'm gonna give her either this new thing we have called Metri to help her clean or some antibiotics. What is your problem? Okay, we've run into some problems, and I know I have poop in my face, but I have three cows that need to be treated. One has a fever, I think she's not cleaning. The other one, her leg is hurt, so I think it's just that causing the fever. So I'm gonna give her some aspirin. And three, I have some cases of bag rot, 
which is very similar to foot rot. So I'll show you what that looks like. It's kind of gross. So beware. Enjoy the sun, buddy. Yes, I am. Where is she? All right. Here is what bag rot looks like. It's a pretty bad case. It's like foot rot, but it's between the bag and the leg. It's like really bad chafing and I think she only has it really bad on one side but it's a little bit bad on that side so I'm gonna treat it. This is what we use. Works pretty good. So I just take some on my hand. It's like really thick stuff and I'm gonna start with this side. Come on, my ladies. Go back out to the barn. I'm gonna clean your water tubs. Excuse me. They already know that they can be the boss of me. They are like 10 times bigger than me. Come on. So it's currently like 9.50 and I finished up the fresh group, got them all taken care of. Um, like I said, we check the fresh group six days a week. Watch my background, these guys. And now I'm gonna clean out. Now I'm gonna clean out some water tubs. Also, my first rating on my hands. Dairy farmers know you just use your hand as a notebook. You don't need any notebook. You just fill up your hand. Anyways, so I have six tubs to clean out here. And I love coming out to clean them because I can just see how everyone's doing. How are you doing? You just ask them and they tell you. All of our cows have names. So this girl, her name is Casual. You can tell we really run out of ideas, but look at how dirty their tub is. Oh my Lord. This is how we unplug it. And yeah, you know, reach your hand in. Sorry if it's super shaky. And you just start cleaning. So here's what it looks like clean. And they're just gonna put more backwash in there. This is just like stone, it's not dirt. I love it. These guys just got done getting milk, so they're just gonna rest, eat and drink until their next. <laughs> yeah, those guys have ruined the video. Until their next milking, they're just gonna hang out here in the barn. And they can get up and walk around as they please. Another tub done. Beautiful. I need like a, like a, what's those steel wool things to get that off? But not a big deal. One of these snapped off the gate, so I'm gonna go replace it with Mike. Cleaning up manure over there. Okay, here is my gate. It's kind of falling off. And you can see it snapped off right here. It's supposed to look like that. By the way, so I can show you the final product. It's all fixed up. Yay! Brand new. And it swings now. Woo! On to the next part of my day using some Immucel on the dry cows. Need a bunch of needles. Okay, step 82 of my day. Uh, I have to give dry cow vaccinations, like I said. I can actually see Claudia right now. She's over by the grain bins. I don't know what she's doing. But basically I have my list that I wrote up earlier. I have to go around and find these cows. So nothing too exciting, but I do this every week. Actually one of my least favorite jobs because some of these please don't be having a baby. Some of these cows are crazy down here. They get their feet pushed up three times a day.
jobs have to do with needles. And I don't really know if I can use those or show them on here. So if you follow a channel that does show giving animals shots and stuff, let me know so that I don't mess it up on my first video back. It would be really cautious. Like, oops, just showed it. Mm. I don't want to like show me using it on a cow. Made a pretty good dent on our list so far, and I've only been in here for like 10 minutes, I would say. But I'm gonna change out my needle. Sorry. Not really. I'm really afraid of showing this on camera. Because if we post this on TikTok, it comes down right, right away. Hey, our barnyard. It's nothing special. But. Move you guys back in, okay? No having babies out here. Remember, that's against the rules. What are you doing laying down? You having a baby? No. Get up, silly goose. Come on. Get up, silly goose. I'm gonna sit on you. Good job, buddy. Look at this little cutie. I love her face. She doesn't want to show you, but she has like a little black spot on her nose. It's so cute. Can you see it? Aww. Also, this barn was our old milking barn, and it's beautiful. Come on, Mr. Moose. Mrs. Moose. There's a window open. I can show you the old barn. It's kind of creepy in there. I was thinking I'm going to see a ghost. <gasps> There's a cat. Do you see it? Aww. See that one that's yelling over there? Her name is Beer. I already know, 5270. I just tried her off yesterday and she is not having a good time. Taking a quick, 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 quick break from the cows to go see Andy. Notice how I didn't say Claudia. I'm going over to see Andy because I love her with all my heart, her little crazy self. It's really dusty over here. Like, I'm gonna really keep my eyes open. Here she is. Stop eating the poop off my boot. Andy, crazy. And Claudia looks like a grandma. I wiped most of it off, like but <laughs> I was talking to the so guy funny. and I didn't realize that my whole face was white and then I went back and looked at my phone. <laughs> it is like so dusty over here. I messed up. And I started spilling corn over there. I don't know what happened. So. Yikes. So I actually ended up taking Indy with me because I'm going to go on a walk with Dale and Jackie. So, come on, bud. All right, we're headed to grandma's house. That's what I call my mom because she watches my dog all day. Reunited with their buddies. Dale, <laughs> come here, bud. That's my babe. Then there's Jojo's pup and Claudia's. <laughs> Part two of my day the afternoon now. It is breeding program time. Probably shouldn't be touching this. Ah. We have Loot. We have our GNRH. Sister Ellen. Gloves. Because I'm going to share a little secret with you. Um, This stuff right here. Loot. If you're a woman, you should never get this on your skin. Um, it can be very harmful if you are pregnant, it can make you abort, and if you aren't, it can make you come into menstruation or give you really intense uterine cramps. Not a fun time. Speaking from experience. And then this stuff isn't as bad. So, I know most of our fan base on here is guys, but if you uh, have a woman in your life and she works with that stuff, make sure she knows that. I'm sure she does, but just in case. Alrighty, getting bread tomorrow. Stop moving. Everybody's getting bread tomorrow. Bread. Woo. Same with you. Already got pink on you. Ooh. Ooh. This is so he can see it tomorrow when he goes to breed. Makes his life easier. Instead of searching for the look how cool it's in the weight. Woo! Instead of searching for the 
other the tags. So you can just look at the paint. And now she is getting bread tomorrow. So I'm sorting them out of the parlor. If they have a pink mark on their head, that means they're getting a reading program shot. Stand back here and give them their shot as they come out of the parlor. So like See, she didn't, I didn't do anything to her. She just slammed on this gate. You're getting your shot. So, locking you up, girl. Look at her number, 4934. And she is getting a GnRH shot. Simple as that, I tell you. Some things that I ha have happened in the past year or so since I did my last YouTube video. I got engaged. He proposed to me in the cow barn. Cutest thing ever. Two, I got a puppy. His name is Dale. Like, do it for Dale. Dale Earnhardt. And three, I'm pregnant. Just kidding. Huh. Just wanted to see if you guys would be like, Whoa. But anyways, those are the two new things that happened to me. And we're getting married in a barley field that my dad's planning for us, planting for us. I'm so excited. It's gonna be this summer. So it's getting towards the end of the night. I'm just gonna finish up my last uh, shots. I'm going home and make pork tacos. And I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Um, this is just my Wednesdays, so I can show you guys what my Tuesdays, Mondays, blah, blah, blah. So have a good day.